you mentioned earlier that something happened during the filming that was on you, but you, one of your actors thought maybe it was their performance and it wasn't. How do you give constructive notes? What's the best way to do that with an actor, knowing that too that they're fragile and they're in, usually in front of many people on set, maybe not so much on small independent sets? Right. I don't know. It's, I think it's different with every director. There's so many. You know, each director has their. Own, they set their own tone on the set. How they work. You know, are they extroverted, introverted? Do they do they use their AD to talk to people, or do they do it themselves? I mean, I, th I think it's so different. I don't think there's one right way to do it. The way I do it, though, is I, I just try to be as genuine as possible, and I encourage them. And, uh, and as all directors say, you just try to create the comfortable environment where they don't feel taking a risk is going to get laughed at. You know, I, if there's something that we want to try. We want to try it without being judged, you know. Just kind of creating that environment where everyone is just kind of, if it's, if it, if it doesn't turn out as what we thought it was going to be, that's fine. You know, we're just going to try it a different way, and that's the try. That's the atmosphere I try to set up for the for the actors. Well, let's put you in the actor's shoes for a moment. Let's say you're on set and maybe you've had several takes, whatever it is, whether it's a line that's misspoke or something, and. How would you want to be approached by someone? <laughs> what would be the best way to kind of save face or to, to help you, even mm. if it's not saving face? But uh, it's funny because I did have a cameo, I, if, as you recall, in Sherman's song, and I, I the, the the joke about the set on that day is I I in mid sentence in mid line if I messed up I would just cut myself and just walk out of the room and come back in and without saying cut so just in mid you know mid take I'd just be like. Just leave, and then the crew would just be busting out laughing and stuff. So I don't know. Like, I think um, I just actually went to the Kubrick Museum, the, the the exhibit, and it was amazing. And there was a story that Ryan O'Neill, I think, had, where he said uh, there was a really really tough day trying to get through a scene, and when he finally finally got through it, the breakthrough, when Kubrick was walking to talk to his crew, he just walked by and he grabbed his his hand and gave it a squeeze and kept walking. Like that's all he did. He just gave him a touch, like acknowledgement that he had done it and, this, and he but he went to walk to talk to his cameraman or something else and I think with me and my actors I have that that bond where sometimes it is just that look that that nod right just it's sometimes you don't have to say it uh, sometimes I do pull them aside privately to give them some some pep talk or feedback on adjustments or other things to try without other people knowing about it Again, it's just, it kind of depends even with myself on the sets on who I'm talking to. Each actor wants to be told differently, different things. You know, they, they all don't have the same way to respond to directing. 